it's Brittany and I am so excited for this video because it reminds me of the old times on my channel when I was in the hosting room. Let me know down below if you remember the hosting room. Such good times. I feel like I haven't done a Japanese urban legend in forever. It feels like way back in the day, well not way back in the day, but maybe like what, two, three years ago when I was in the hosting room, I felt like I was constantly doing Japanese urban legends and I absolutely love Japanese urban legends. So I don't know, maybe I did do one like last month, I don't know. <laughs> I forget a lot of the videos I've done because I'm always researching stuff and you know, sometimes I'm like, did I already do this or am I planning to do this? So. <laughs> I know this story, this urban legend, has been highly requested for years. And that urban legend is take it, take it. I feel like I have to say it like that, so it kind of reminds me of like, shuk, shuk, if you know <laughs> Michael Jackson vibes. Shuk, shuk. It kind of just reminds me of that, but it's take it, take it, or take it, take it. I feel like I have to say it like that, so shuk, shuk. So this story is all about a girl who fell on a train track and a train came and sliced her in half. So it's pretty gruesome really sad but that's what happened in the story so it's train tracks are so scary like when you're driving over a train track who gets anxiety like it's the scariest thing <laughs> so it's a really tragic sad story and she suffered a long painful death so oh my god like I couldn't even imagine you know what I mean you're sliced in half and just knowing like this is it you know there's no one around to help me or anything so they say you know when she died she now roams all over Japan dragging the top part of her body you know using her hands to move around and the reason why her name is Teke Teke is because of the sound she makes when she's crawling around so Teke 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 you know I feel like I just want to keep saying that but it's Teke 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 I guess I mean I don't know that's how I say it. I don't know if it's, you know, you guys know what I mean, but you know. This, you know what this story reminds me of is the Click Clack urban legend that I did back for Brittany Ween in October. So if you're interested in seeing that, I will leave that down below. It's very similar and really creepy. So there's this really creepy story about a boy. He was coming home from school one evening. So I guess he was staying kind of later, you know, to work on a project or study or do something. So as he was walking home, he heard a noise behind him. So he turned around and he noticed this, you know, attractive girl in the window staring at him. And she was like right up against the window with her arms just you know what I mean like I mean, obviously you guys know probably know who it is but she's just you know staring at him and you know just against the window kind of like that so I mean that would be kind of startling like what the heck you know what I mean and what was really creepy was the fact that she was inside of the school so you know he just left the school and then he heard that noise he turns around and she's in the window of the school but this is an all boys school so why the heck is a girl in that window and you know just staring at him so he was just kind of you know creeped out but she did smile at him and then she started to hug herself so the boy was like okay you know I guess she just likes to hug herself then all of a sudden she leaps out of the window so I'm assuming she like broke open the glass or she opened the window but she leaped out of the window landed on the ground and she was just like posing not posing but like standing in a position that's what I picture in my head staring at this boy he was frozen she started like oh no my sound effects or I don't even know what to do but you know just imagine like like she's like a spider I was a spider in a previous life so that's why I can do this oh my god I look like a spider today too but anyways yeah she's still going after him finally she made it to the boy and she whipped out this sharp object and just cut him in half because she wanted him to look just like her. So they say kids in Japan warn each other about teke teke because she goes after children and if you're playing at dusk, that's usually when she approaches you, she will come over to you and she will cut you in half with a sharp object to make you look like her because she's angry. So do not go playing at dusk because that is when she will attack and she chases children with a sharp object and you know, it's very disturbing, but it's very much like click clack. So like I said, I will leave that down below if you want to check out that video, but yeah, click clack is so freaky. Ugh, this whole story is creepy too, you know? Can you imagine just like, you know, I don't know why I keep making that noise. Maybe that's the sound I made when I was a spider, I don't know. Oh my god, that's disgusting if I was a spider. That is sick. Ew, imagine I was a tarantula. <sighs> So that is the scary Japanese urban legend known as Tikka Tikka. 
or ch -ch -ch, that's what I like to say, but yeah, so it's really creepy. I'm so happy that I finally made this video. You guys have been wanting me to do this for so long, so I'm glad I finally did it. It just brings back such good times being in the hosting room. Let me know if you guys remember those days. Like to my new viewers, I don't know if you found me that way, but to my older viewers, if you remember that, let me know. If you remember the days when I used to talk with a southern accent. <laughs> Girl, I don't know what that was all about, but um, I don't know. I don't know if I still do. I think I sound like me. I don't know where the southern accent came from. <laughs> I don't know, but sometimes I still do it at times, but I don't know. Such good times. Like, I miss those days. Today's shout out goes to Vanessa Raven. Thank you so much, Vanessa, for watching my videos. And thank you to your daughter as well, because she said that you and your daughter watch my videos and you're both brethren. So thank you so much. It means the absolute world to me. Mother daughter moments who watch my videos. I think it's the sweetest thing ever. And I love that. I love hearing that so much. It's just, I think that's the coolest thing. So thank you so much, Vanessa. And if you want a chance at a shout out in my next video, all you gotta do is make sure that you are subscribed to my channel, of course. Turn on your post notifications so you will be notified every single time that I upload. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And comment down below, I'm a brethren. <laughs> or whatever, use the snake emoji, the hearts, you know, I pick at random. So I've been having so much fun doing these shout outs at the end of every video for 2018. So it's been fun. So thank you guys so much for watching my videos. As always, you rock my world in the song lyrics. Michael Jackson, hashtag team pretty 44 hashtag Barilla hey, and I will see you guys on Monday, which will be a spirit box session. So I am so freaking excited for that because you guys know me and my spirit box sessions. I love spirit box sessions. And then next weekend, I'm actually going to, like you're watching this on Friday, so a week from today, I'll be at this huge haunted location. <laughs> And I'm really excited because I'll be with my brother Jonathan, of course, and my friend Michael. Michael's got on YouTube, so guys, get ready. I'm so excited. It's gonna be so much fun. We, get, you know, we just have a lot, of, a lot of things planned. <laughs> so I will see you guys on Monday. Bye.